The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number six and seven. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on September 29th, 1973, in Bombay, India. Krishna is discussing Khetra, Khetragna, Gyan, and Gyan. So Khetra, Idam Sarijan, Khetra, Nete, Vidhiyate. This body is the Khetra. Khetra means the field of activities. Just like a cultivator. He has got a certain portion of land, and according to the land, he is seeding, uh, bowing the seeds of grains. And as he is working, he is getting the profit by agricultural profit. Similarly, this body is a field. Is thin, and we are sowing the seed, karma, sowing the seed, and getting the result. Karma na daiva netrena. Why you have got different types of bodies? Uh, why you have got everyone the same type of body? <coughs> <coughs> Somebody is fat, somebody is very thin, somebody white, somebody black, somebody very beautiful, somebody very ugly. There are so many varieties of bodies. Why? Sanghata. This is combination, color combination. There are three gunas. Prakite kriyamanani guni karmani sadhu. As you are associating, with the guna. We are reading different types of bonds. Uh, that is, Krishna is explaining here that Mahabhutani, Ahamkara. The Ahamkara is very important thing. Uh, false Ahamkara and real Ahamkara. Ahamkara means law of identity. I am Indian. This is Ahamkara. I am American. This is Ahamkara. I am rich man. This is also Ahamkara. I am poor man. There are so many Ahamkara. Law of identity. So, this Ahamkara is the basis of getting a type of body. And this is the subtle basis, ahankar, mona buddhi ahankar. There are eight material elements. Bhumi rapa anana vayu kamana buddhi yoga. That is stated in the same chapter. This earth, water, fire, air, sky, mind, intelligence, and Ahamkara. This is created in my different types of body. Krishna uh, therefore says, Mahabhutam Ahamkara Buddhi Abhaktamena. Uh, Abhaktamena is a total material substance. Uh, <coughs> just like when you uh, construct a house, there are heaps of materials. Uh, some stone, some cement, some wood, some iron, and you combine together Tejo Bharimit Vinimayam, this whole world, is exchange of three things. Tejo, fire, body means water, and mrit means earth. Now, so what is this Bombay city? The Bombay city is a heap of Tejo Barimit Vinimayam. Oh. 
uh, various one takes part in India, we know how to mix these three things, three the body with the minimum exchange. Uh, if there was no stock of Tegu Bari with Vinimaya, you could not build such a nice city. But we supply the ingredients. Can you uh, create art? No. Can you create water? No. Uh, you cannot create. You are simply working. You are simply working hard, mixing them. That's all. Tejo bari mit binimaya. He cannot create. That is not possible. The creator is God. The creator is God. That is stated in the seventh chapter. The prakriti me astodha me. Krishna says it is mine. So, this is called illusion. We are using Krishna's property, but we are claiming our. That is called illusion. Therefore, Shastra says, Veda says, Ishava Samidam Sattva. Everything belongs to God. He cannot create this big mass of water, sea or ocean. That is not possible. Who has created? Somebody has created. That is stated in this hastra. Huh? There is perspiration. This water is perspiration of Mahavishnu. Uh, we can understand because we are minute artic- particles of Mahavishnu. Mamai Vamsa Jiva Bhuta. So sometimes we perspire and create some water, chahapanaun's water. But if somebody has unlimited power to perspire and create water, what is the difficulty to understand? There is no difficulty. If you take it for acceptance that this vast mass of water has come from the perspiration of the Supreme Personality of God, so there is nothing to uh, deny this path. Achinta Shakti. Achinta Shakti means inconceivable power. We have got inconceivable power because we are minute particles of God. So we have also minute inconceivable power. We do not know how the hair shall rain. But the energy is there within me. Uh, similarly, so many things come out from the inconceivable power of Krishna. Therefore, Krishna claims, Bhumi rapana rabaru khammana vudhuri vata prakriti me astadha, bhinna prakriti me astadha. They are my separated energy. Uh, so, uh, this uh, whole art is creation of these five elements, gross elements. So it is Krishna's property. How we can claim this is our property? That is illusion. We are claiming this portion is American, this portion is Indian, this portion is Pakistani. Uh, but we do not know that no person belongs to us, everything belongs to Krishna. For practical purpose, even if we accept that the whole world belongs to Krishna, God, and we are sons of God, we have got right to use the property of Father. So you can use. But the difficulty is that uh, we are claiming that this portion is mine. This portion is mine. But if we don't claim like that, everything belongs to God. That is practical communism. If we accept the whole world as the property of God, make God-centered communism, 
the Russians were making the state center communism. Uh, if you make God center, that is Isha, Isha Upanishad. Ishavasamidam Sadvam. Everything belongs to God. Uh, and everyone has, that is, that is stated in the Shastra, that everything belongs to God. Everything is property of God. And we can utilize, uh, we can use that javadattha prayana as much as we require, we can say. Just like the birds and bees, they are living on nature's condition. Uh, the bird will go to a tree and eat some fruit, but not more than he requires. Neither he will take the fruit at his home to stop for the next day or for making black market. No. We have created all this nonsense situation by claiming God's property as ours. This is the mistake. But the rascal leaders, they do not know what mistake they have committed in the beginning. Everything belongs to God. Therefore, anything should be employed in the service of God. This is our Krishna consciousness philosophy. We do not think anything which, is, which has no connection with Krishna. We take everything. Just like we are using this microphone. We do not think it is material because it is being used for Krishna's purpose. That word is spiritual. That is the difference between material and spiritual. When you accept it as your own or for your own sense gratification, that is material. And if you accept anything as Krishna's, and you simply take Krishna's prasadam, then it is spiritual. Uh, we are not Mahavadi philosophers that we say, Brahma Sattva Jagan Mitha. No. Why Jagat should be Mitha? If Krishna is true, God is true, the, the Jagat is also true, because it is the energy of Krishna. Krishna says, Bhumi Rapa the Brahman Goswami is prescribed Prapanchika Buddhaya Puri Shambandi Bhastuna Mumukshuvi Parityana Parubhuvai Rāgra Pakshati. Prapanchika Buddhaya. What is this sound? Prapanchika Buddhaya. By accepting something as material, Hari Sambandi Vastuna. But it has connection with Hari. See, if we give it up, ah, then it is Purgubhai ah, Just like this for land. Ah, we are fighting ah, because we are thinking that Krishna has come here. Krishna is seated here. It cannot be better. We are not thinking that it is a material thing. This is an example. Just like Arjun, Arjun thought, because he thought that this war, this Kurukhetra battle, is for the satisfaction of Krishna. Karishe Matanam in the beginning, Arjuna denied to fight. He thought, why should I fight with my kinsmen? Let them in the eye. But when he understood that it is Krishna's desire, Nimitta Matra Bhavasabha Sache, it is already planned. Krishna says, my dear Arjuna, you are thinking that you will save your relatives, but you are wrong. It is already planned. Those who have come here, they must be kept. That is already my plan. 
He simply became a instrument, Nimutma to know So when Arjuna understood that it is the Krishna's plan, then I, I am servant of Krishna. I must satisfy Krishna. Arjuna therefore asked, Krishna therefore asked Arjuna. So now after hearing my instruction in the Bhagavad Gita, what you are going to do? Krishna said, Arjuna replied, Nasta moho sitilanda. My Lord Krishna, my illusion is now over. Sriti Lanka, I have got my remembrance. Everything belongs to you. For your satisfaction, everything must be done. Kurishri Vatananda. Yes, I am right. This is Krishna ah. So long you think it is for your satisfaction, that is material. And as soon as you think, as soon as you understand, that everything belongs to Krishna and everything should be used for the service of Krishna. Uh, that is spiritual. That is the distinction between material and spiritual. There is nothing like that material. Spiritual is something wonderful. Everything, Isavasamidam Sarnam, if everything belongs to Krishna, where is material? There is nothing material. Everything is spiritual, but we, we do not know how to use it. Therefore it is material. When you forget Krishna, when you forget the proprietorship of Krishna upon everything, that is material. Hari Sammandhi, Krishna Sammandhi, Nimbandhi, Krishna Sammandhi, Dhritta Vaidhanga Matsyata. This is the injunction of the Goshan. Uh, uh, that we have to accept everything as Krishna. That is the fact. And we are using everything without utilizing for Krishna's purpose. Therefore it is material. And in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Stena eva he is she. He is she. Jigna thetarmanatru lupayam karmamandhana. As one man is criminal, because he does not satisfy his state. What is the position of a criminal person? Because he disobeys the laws of the state, he is criminal. That is the distinction between a good citizen and a criminal citizen. One who does not obey the laws of the state, he is criminal. Say everyone who does not obey the orders of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is giving us stena eva samuchya. Stena eva samuchya. This is the Vajika Vishastra. Forgetfulness of Krishna or God is materialism. And not to use things for Krishna's satisfaction uh, is criminality. So people who do not understand this. Krishna therefore explaining that this body, Mahabhutani Ahankara, Buddhi Rabbakta Mevacha, Indriyani Dasaika. Indriyani, these ten senses, five senses for acquiring knowledge and five senses for acting, ten and the mind, ten and one, eleven. Indriyani Dasaika Mucha, Pancha Chindriya Bhuta. Indriya Bhuta, the Object of sense gratification. Tanamatra. Just like root, gross, gandha, sabda, sparsha. Beauty. Root, gross, taste. Root, gross, gandha, smell, sabda, sound, sparsha, touch. These are the objects of enjoyment. Our eyes are there. We are hankering after seeing very beautiful things. Root, gross. The tongue is there. We are always trying to taste very nice uh, eatables. Gandha, nose is there. We want to smell very flavorable flowers and other things. In this way, we have got indriyas, senses, and this body made of gross elements and the ahamkar 
and buddhi, buddhi, mono buddhi ahankar, these are the subtle body. In this way, this chetra, this body is combination of all these things. Combination of all these things. Now it is very mahan maha bhutani ahankara buddhi abhakta evacha indriyani dasaitam cha pancha chendriya gochara icha desha. This is the icha desha, action of the mind. Winning, feeling. Icha desha. Sometimes we like something, sometimes we do not like. This is called icha desha. Icha desha samapena. Sarge jayanti paranta. We take birth within this material world according to icha and desha. These two things are there. Uh, some, something we like, something we do not like. Icha desha, sukham dukham. Sangata chatam chetana dhriti eta chetam samasena sabitaram udarita. This is the this is the combination of all these things uh, that has made this body. So uh, the composition is very subtle. Uh, very good chemists they can understand how by combining different elements they can produce something. So these chemical products of this body is described by Krishna very nicely. Gross chemical and subtle chemical. But I am different from this. That is knowledge. I am different from this combination. And that we do not know. That is ignorance. I am thinking that I am this combination. And I am thinking where from the this combination has come into being, that is my place. That is described in this hashtag. Jashāku buddhi kuna pecchi dhāpuke sadhik kalatra desu bhauma ijjadhi, bhauma ijjadhi. The chemical comes from the earth, uh, everything in my body, they have come from these material elements, and I am identified, this place is mine, because mine, this body is born out of this element. That is going on as nationalism. Bhauma ijjadhi, Bhoma is Yadi. They will not prefer worshipping Krishna. They will prefer worshipping that land from which this body has emanated. Bhoma is Yadi. So Shastra says, anyone who identifies this body as self, Jasyatma Buddhi Kunape Tridhatuke. This body is made of Tridhatu, Papa Kittabai. According to our base system, carbs, milkas, and white, copper with the white, this shark would be kunapet in hatuke, sadikal, tradishu, and kinsmen, my own persons, sadikal, tradishu, white, and production from the white, children. Or dynasty, family, community, sadhik kalatradi su, jasatu buddhi kunapeti dhatuke sadhik kalatradi su bhoma ijjadi. And that land, this is my birthplace, this is worshipable. Jatipa buddhi salene nakarhiti. And they go to the place, holy place of pilgrimage, tipa buddhi salene. Just like somebody goes to Haridwar, Vrindavan, they finish their teeth off going, taking so much trouble. Just like in Calcutta, there is Ganges. But people will go to Haridha for taking bath in the Ganges there. Why it is prescribed? Not for the Ganges. The Ganges is there already in Calcutta. But if you go to a holy place, you will find saintly person. That is required. But if you simply go to the holy places and take bath in the water and finish your business, no. That is not recommended. Tītha, Tītha, going to Tītha means to find out a learned, saintly person and take knowledge from them. 
That is thing. Therefore, it is said, Jatitha buddhi salile na karehiche janesu avigesu. Go for its part, giving in knowledge. We should associate. Satan prasannat no vija samvida. Bhavanti itkarna rasayana katha. If we associate with saintly person, and hear from them, Bhagavad Gita and other Vedic literature, then Vitkarna Rasayana Katha, it becomes appealing to the heart, with and pleasing to the ear. Vitkarna Rasayana Katha, Tadjushana, and if you bring them into practical purposes, apply in your life, then Suddha Bhakti, Madhati, Anukramishati, then gradually we become faithful. So the Supreme Sadhya Bhakti will develop your natural instincts of devotional service, Sadhya Bhakti Rati attachment, Anukkamishati, Panatha Sarada. This is the past. Unfortunately, we are not taking advantage of these prerogatives of human life. We are simply engaged like cats and dogs for utilizing our life, eating, sleeping, sex life, and defense. Ahara nidra vaya vaita nancha, saman lameta kusui naraka. These demands of the body, eating, sleeping, sex life, and defense, that is there in the animal life. Then what is the difference between the animal life and human life? Unless you become inquisitive to know Adhata Brahma Jiddasa, that Vedanta Sutra says, that this life is meant for inquiring about the absolute truth. Tattva jiggyasa. Jeevasya tattva jiggyasa. In the Bhagavata also say, Athata Brahma jiggyasa. So this Krishna consciousness movement is awakening the dormant inquiry of the human society to inquire what I am, what is God, what is my relationship with God. Why I have come here in this material world? Uh, what is the reason? Why I am suffering? I don't want to die. Why? Why? Death is forced upon me. These are the questions to be solved in human life, not the economic development. Uh, there is no question of economic development. Uh, everyone is taken care by the mercy of God. But the Ishavas we have forgotten that everything belongs to God. We are thinking, it is my land. You cannot come here. It is my land. You cannot come here. This mismanagement of the human society is the cause of all troubles, all problems. Therefore, uh, the human society must have Krishna consciousness to solve all the problems of life. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.